This is a perfect example of how you can grow into the Haas range at WAF Group today. James, pleasure to be with you again. Um, now, let's start with the UMC 500. Yes, well, one of our most successful families of products has been the UMC since we launched it several years ago. The 500 was the first of the redesigned uh, really economic footprint machines. So we've got a full five axis capability in the footprint of a VF2. So that, that really does pack a punch. So if we go into the machine as well, you'll notice that um, the way that we configure our knuckle is this way. That makes, uh, that makes loading very, very simple, but also the visuals of it as well. And when we, when we come to loading, we can get some fairly serious parts in on quite a small footprint. However, one of the products that WAF are doing here, this is their universal valve. This is one of the small baby ones, actually. So they're already looking at a UMC 1000 uh, to, to accommodate the much bigger valves. This, this product is really clever. It actually enables them to tap into live water supplies without having to shut the supply off. So if, if we were then to look at that, for example, one of the benefits of the UMC, we've got this side access door. So some of these components, they would have to literally fork into the side and with the configuration of the machine, still keeping a really tight footprint, it's dead easy. So the accessibility, James, is absolutely uh, fantastic. And, and some of the components that they're making on this machine for R&D, such as the valve, yep. is, is extremely impressive. And I believe that they're going to be moving on to the Big Brother model soon. That's right. They're doing a lot of the production work on the EC400, their latest investment and i believe this is the first ec 400 with a six six pallet pulled uh configuration in, in europe it, it is but it's now very much a standard product so this is a real workhorse machine for them uh, classic horizontal machine but with a lot of redesigns so we've got full wash down system really generous y-axis as well brilliant swarf management and of course with horizontal machines by their nature, they generate an awful lot of swarf. I mean, the, the, the swarf washdown, as you mentioned there, James, is, is quite a, a novel design. Not seen anything like that myself yet. And, and the envelope really stands out for me, uh, James. Such a large working envelope. It, it is, and it's a twin pallet machine, of course. But with the pallet pool, I mentioned that as a standard feature. Uh, it's fully integrated. It's Hass. It's that thing again. So you'll notice on the control here that uh, it, the pallet pool itself has got its own page and it's fully integrated into control. So you mentioned earlier um, a brand that you can grow into, a range that you can grow into. What started with a super mini mill having had no experience of machining at all and very quickly realised that they needed to get bigger, more efficient, uh, really complicated solutions but actually with a fresh pair of eyes they were able to go through that journey easily because we, it's the same control we spoke spoke to uh, will um, earlier and he says that the repeatability is within five microns and the rigidity of this spindle is second to none which is really impressive yeah let's have yeah. a look at the pallets yes uh, okay pallet so again piece, one of the things about this a bit like the umc it's such a small footprint you look at this and it's a full six pallet system so uh obviously this is one of the tombstones that they've got set up ready for the next operation so dead easy to work on that while the spindles are running and inside there if, if you want to just pull that door halfway geo i think we can get the camera in so we can actually see that you've got the the full six pallet set up waiting for other tombstones to go on and this this has been a game changer for wath i mean as you mentioned it really strikes me um, how small this footprint is for the capabilities that they are getting. Perfect. Let's move on to the lathe. They're doing yep. a lot of turning here yep. as well. Um, James, let's talk talk through the, the DS30Y. Okay, so we've got a, a full dual spindle lathe here. So the the main spindle is uh, an eight inch uh, and the with with a with a three inch bar capacity. The sub spindle is a is a true sub spindle with a two inch bar capacity as well. Uh, we can get up to a 10 inch chuck on the on the main spindle, the A26 uh, spindle nose. But again, full Y axis capability, integrated Haas bar feed. We mentioned again that that uh, integration with the control, it's, it's an integral piece, not an add on. 
the bar feeder plays through the controller as well. I mean, the, the, the Haas bar feed, can you talk me through this, uh, you know, in a little bit more detail? I mean, again, another automated solution from Haas, yep. which simplifies the procurement, I suppose, of some of these um, accessories. It does, it makes it easy because, again, it's that common control element of it. So Haas bar feeder, fully integrated, it's a 1.2 metre maximum length, it's carousel fed, and it's the same product for all of our ranges of lathes. All we have is an adapter kit to fit each range. So right now from ST10, right the way up to the biggest bar we can feed, it's the same bar feeder, just a different adapter kit. And that of course keeps the cost down, keeps the maintenance down, the usual Haas philosophy. Um, and as we mentioned at the beginning of this interview, you know, this is a real great example of the Haas journey and how you yeah. can grow into the range. What are their next steps? What are their next machine tools? So there, we're already in, in very close discussions around a bigger UMC. So UMC 1000 would be the likely direction. Also more VMC capability. So a standard three axis VMC with the ability to put a fourth or even fifth axis on that as well. And of course, none of this could happen without operators. So uh, there's the star of the show looking at the DS30Y here. And the EC400, I'm led to believe, don't really need an operator with all them pallets, to be fair. It seems to be running 24-7. Well, it can run 24-7, but it's interesting at, at Woth, the, the way that they've started to think about cleverly managing their workforce, cleverly managing the hours that they've got. They can negate the need for 24-7 working by being very efficient with this setup. James, it's been a pleasure. And you.